All right, what is up, guys? As always, welcome back to another OE game, almost versus Ari, and really, really nice team here. Do not enjoy seeing Jellicent, as that makes my Frostless obsolete, really. Um, but yeah, wow, Cinderace, Zushia. Wow, there's a lot of tough mods for me to deal with here. Nice. Uh, <laughs> Um, hmm. I like looking at team trying to figure out what's a good lead, what could I like use for it to work better. Um, uh. <laughs> that's a genuine like realization. of Theraphon is just a nail in the coffin for me. Um, I think Dino is a good lead. I think it allows some mons to be pressured. Um, the only mod like it keeps or becomes problematic with is Excadrill, the other ones you can pipe it around with. Excadrill is overall very annoying, so to my opponent, Arian, as always, or Ari, good luck, have fun, and um, let's hope that these mods are not too much for me to deal with. Though, consider the composition, yeah, they should. Alright, starts off with Darla, Galar Champion. Let's see, alright. Um, but, 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 but. Could body press this, but what's the point? At least she's locked in here. Could just gauge the body press, see how much it will do. So that she can't switch out with my mana pull. If it were Iron Defense, this would have been a very nice situation. Instead, I got the lesser of the two. Body press will do at least one fourth. Come on, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Arm bubs. Let's see. Your best move here is lead seed. So that's uh, that's a bit annoying. Did not want to experience that. It makes my game a bit longer than it should. And she got leftovers too. Let's see. This lead seed kind of wrap it up for me and makes my turn pretty much non-existent I, I would say so I would say so um, so I've all switch here don't have protect on me please thank you <laughs> like Jesus all right could Hydreigon scare it out this question actually Voltaire is kind of good like even with the problematics around it, I think it should do all right. But Nishnug could could flinch it, could pressure it. I just realized that a better like defensive Hydreigon set is not with Defog. It is most definitely with um, ooh, our defense. So it has body press too. Nice. That's um, that's not helping. Uh, I really hope um, the um, the idea alone of Fire Blast gears this mon out. Like that, the ideal set that has been seen is with Thunderbolt over Defog. Basically, what that does is allowing this mod to uh, really like Dark Pulse flinch nicely. It's definitely a good, nasty set. To Scylla! Oh my god, we're doing this! Um. <laughs> Alright, so. So, oh wait, but did we do neutral? No. No, that was a resist, I just didn't see it. Um. Fuck. Ring and quack. Um, I mean, the best move here should be close combat, right? Will down your defenses. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Play rough. Why? Why is that the play? Did not want to see that. Then again, I don't think anybody want to see anything. I don't want to force switch Urshin. Dynamos could probably pressure it for a um, private vault switch. If she isn't packing um, the um, close combat, which she should. Sucky thanks. Yeah, we can do that. Oh my god, no. Like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So, she's locked in here with me and needs to attack, which is nice. <laughs> in the circumstance, at least. I'm still dying. Oh, I gotta appreciate Man and Paul a little bit. That psychic fang crit did not help, however. That said, if she packs close combat, then it just doesn't matter anyway. Let's play with the idea that she doesn't get it. Or doesn't have it. Doesn't get it. I've seen combination with Thunder Fang, Psych play rough, and uh, Psychic oh, um, Yeah, Thunder Fang, Psychic Fangs before. But close combat usually the neutral good filler. Yeah, like, pop me, buddy. <laughs> pop me, daddy. Um. <laughs> So, I guess we're in a weird spot now. Bring in Urshin. The thing is, like, my best play is Earthquake. I don't want to Quake, but that's something I gotta have to do. I want a Power Punch, but I don't think I'll manage a Play Rough for Retaliation at plus one. I'm not even sure an Earthquake kills, actually. I'm not sure about many things at all, as a as a concept. <laughs> Good thing I'll power away for Jellicent though. Um, I do think I need to wheel down Jellicent before I pull that off. But two Earthquakes versus the Ferrophone should be plenty, if that's the switch in. And as long as I got rain, I think Sashian is um, like kept at an arm's length. Just decide to switch out to Darla. Right, let's see. One earthquake will do. Please, plenty. I need plenty. That's a bad plenty. All right. Do I want to risk the power whip? Sending a volt here. I don't want to risk a power whip. I really don't. I happily take this resistant damage, to be honest. Lead seed. Yeah, I can do lead seed. It's problematic, sure, but um, I get a quiver off, I think. Damn, I should just power a punch there. Would you wrap up this motherfucker? Oh, this um, this um, acorn. <laughs> Anyway, it's not like Jarbol could very well kill anyway. Just decide to switch out, which is nice, to a Jelly. And that's not Jelly. <laughs> Alright, so right, let's go. Um, Bug Bus is neutral, Ice Beam is neutral. And uh, don't believe a Thunderbolt kills me, to be honest. I think. I think we're kind of good in this matchup. But only two turns of rain is not uh, like the best. Right, ice beam. I say in bug bus do I clearly don't do not carry it. Oh sail out speed. Nice. Worthless moth. Please hurt him. No! Paralyzed. Fantastic. So that's not gonna be problematic at all. Uh, just need one hit. <sighs> Not what I needed, for sure. Stick web. There we go. The webs has landed. So now I need to defog. Eventually. His ice beam will surely bring him down to the sash. And that kind of makes it worse. Oh! Hello! Whoop whoop! Whoop 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 whoop! question is, should I take the gamble? Voltaire is dead by default anyway, so I was kind of figuring I could do a weird play here. Voltaire will be a nice sack play in the motion of things, but quack, 
can definitely bring in the drizzle. Still frozen solid, which is nice. Um, at minus one speed, things get problematic. So bring in nice and nuke and um, try to defog, I think. In the face of a Galventula, that is. Still frozen solid. Nice. I will end you. <laughs> Hopefully. Still frozen solid. Whoop whoop. Whoop 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 whoop. How many more turns can I waste before I'm screwed over? I have four turns left. Thunderbolt is probably one of its moves. I will pay, I will pay, yeah, no way. Please don't carry energy ball. Power up punch, let's go do it. I need this win. Please don't fool up with energy ball. Oh, it ain't that easy, throw your life away. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can try to stick your web against me every day. Hell yeah. Flatters. Oh, you are dead, buddy. You are dead if I connect this. I have so few turns of uh, of this. So let's, let's make it count. What is it? Two turns of rain? Yeah. Come on, power whip. I never trusted you anyway. The students! Students! No! It didn't work! Fuck! <laughs> no! Damn it! <laughs> Flanders! Stupid sexy Flanders. <laughs> Almost worth it. Still though, like I'm at 75% damage up, but it should not be that scary. Should have gone for the head as you just have killed him with an earthquake. One power up punch was plenty. Not that. Like having Jellis in for the count is definitely helping. Withdraw Splanders. Fighting another day to Darla. Alright, buddy. I see what you're coming at. Hmm. Question is, like, Urshin is still kind of good. A plus one is, of course, underwhelming damage output is gonna show its ugly head. But, um, do I want to try to whittle it down? I need, like, Strada is now, like, my only, like, real proper response overall. I'm gonna send Vault here. I think Seismitoad is, um, not really good, but uh, definitely something that could work in the long run. Lead seeding. And this time I'm not quiver dancing, I'm just gonna ice beam, hoping I'm not getting fully paralyzed. Um, I'm gonna get myself killed, but hopefully not that fast. Hopefully. question is do I outspeed as paralyzed I do nice ice cream should do 25% maybe yeah yeah I did all right and there's the rocks surely there are the rocks I can always default though so it's not the end of the world but like I gotta take this into contrast ice beam could very well kill this fair for next time Not really. Um, oh, I can't see what range Jelly sent this in. Because I kind of think I need to hurricane. It would be greedy to quiver dance. Ah, ice beaming. Withdraws. Kind of knew it. Kind of knew it. 
to Flanders. Stupid sexy Flanders. <laughs> Stupid shiny sexy Flanders. Not paralyzed, it didn't matter. I still got a really proper sack play though. And I can always default with Hydreigon, so I think Nishinug is overall my best play, mainly because of um, defogging, but I think his best play here is to recover, right? He's either um, recover or strength sapping. Both are in my book fine. Let's see, strength sap, yeah. And it should recover him to, I think, full, to be honest. It should not be a lot of things stopping him from getting him to position, yeah. The only thing I got in my favor here is that I really think the LSN can't do anything versus me. And uh, I know what range a few of his mon is at. So the only problematic thing is that the Session do exist. So we do fogging, make sure that um, I swear if it's Dazzling Leave and that's, um, that's a thing. <sighs> Probably will Wisp. Ice Beam. Ah, no problem. It's gonna hurt. But um, I am bulky. <laughs> Dazzling Gleam, however, that's um, that's a different thing. All right, so no more rocks, which also means that from here on, um, I can still with Pelipper set up um, my rain. However, it's not going to be the easiest thing to do, and with a session active, I can probably only do it so many times. See, switches out, goes to Zilla, which is the session, and um, I mean, let's think about this. By the way, Dark will still do like a fair chunk. I think that's a fair chunk. This wish he close combat. Player up is now coming my way. There's nothing to do versus this. So in theory, I just sack play something and. Uh, I guess I sec play quack. The game is not that long left anyway. Like, there are only so many turns I got left for me to be able to break through this team. So we set up our probably our last drizzle. Play rough, misses, which is uh, nice, as one say. That means I can sack my Frostlass. So my Frostlass will actually, while it didn't do what the things I wanted to, it's still definitely left a stain on my opponent team here. So Psychic Fangs, there we go, nothing to it. And, um, well, here's the thing, Urshin is not terrible, but I probably just need massive damage output. And since he has close combat, I can't lock myself into go for a sword stance. Just need as much damage as possible and hope to break through. And it's a reach at best. Three minutes left. Come on, liquidation. Come on. Oh, yes! Fuck off, Scylla! Such young killer. Here we go. Here we go. Let's play with the idea of Jellison coming in. Ice Beam probably Scald. Darla. All right. Do I want a Sword Stance versus this? I'll take it. It might be greedy. It also might work. If he has power whip, my opponent just wins fairly. Lead seed. Yes! <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, 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 buddy. Though I'm not sure I actually kill him from here. But lead seed should still fix. A little bit of my issues. Withdraws. Damn it. Goes to Flanders. Stupid, sexy Flanders. 
Leech Life will do... Alright. I guess, I think I know what my opponent is doing, which is stalling out the rain. But, um, quite frankly, I'm just... It's unfortunate that we have a timer, because pretty much I can just reset the rain again and uh, retaliate in full force. But now I don't get that option, which sucks. Depending if I miss the stone edge, that is. Which I don't, so Jill isn't this out. Piss off, man. Piss off. Hell yeah. <laughs> Alright. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Probably a sash, however, Excadrill. So we probably are in the wrap anyway, but at this point, I don't care. I really don't care. I thought I did great. Cabotops kind of breaking through was all I needed. I don't care about the sash. Like I said, it's kind of obvious. And quite frankly, I don't care about it. Um, yeah, this is a cool, cool kind of session. I, I really like this game. Oh, we went for a rapid spin. Question is, is he faster? I am plus two speed. Can we, can we get the last turn here? Come on. I am still faster, bitch! Mm. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, like I said, um, the rain kind of stops here, which means I would have been forced to reset it. But at this point, Theraphorn and Sinrays would probably not be able to muster whatever I left in me. And, and more so in contrast to, well, let's just say I would have sacked Cabotops here anyway. I think I win a bit unsure actually. Um, the game's gonna wrap up anyway, just gonna go for liquidation. Um, yay, I defeated! 3-3! Free, free. Um, like I said, at this wrap up, there would just be um, me resetting the rain and uh, bringing in Cabotops again, or either, really, it probably would have bring in Seismitoad again um, to force back the Ferrothorn. And then I would probably sack him on just to um, make sure that Pelipper could recover. And once Pelipper had recovered, there were no way that Cinderace nor Ferrothorn was going to beat it one versus one as long as Rain was active. And with Cabotops also active, unless the Cinderace has a Sucker Punch, Cabotops would just wrap up that game. Anyway, all speculation. I really hope you enjoyed this game. Finally, a really good proper game and my opponent really knocked it out in the park. A very tough team. Anyway, as always guys, thank you for watching and have a great day. Take care everyone.